guys, Liquid here, and welcome back to Let's Play Croc, The Legend of the Gabos. The question on everyone's mind last time was, is life a beach? Let's find out. Well, I guess the, the game is, uh, the title level is Life's a Beach, so according to the game, yes, it is a beach. Right, so we have a hair of gobbo in the in the cage. So we have three different rooms, only two of which are accessible now. Hey, fellas! Ah. What are you shooting at us? Oh. I'll do that. <laughs> that fellow was um not playing around because like, most of the fellows are very oh he's serious. Like j just as I start to say something, I, I was just gonna say how like most of the fellows are pushovers with their projectiles and they don't really they're afraid to actually shoot shoot you with them. Oh my gosh. Just as I get shot with the projectiles. And these, these later levels are wrecking into me. And not like I was just doing a pro job on the early, earlier levels, but... They are... They've cranked it, cranked it up, man. You... And, and their weird, weird sadistic laughs as well. I don't know these people anymore. Still can't rest you, buddy. I could actually go into that main door now, couldn't I? Every now and then, it's like you can jump off of it, off of it, but it takes like a very certain skill. Camera, work with me. Model, model. Get up there. Did that hit me already? Ah. I will kill you a thousand times over. Yeah, that is how I shall extract, ex extract justice. And this camera. So we need to get up there. So now we can go and save our friend. Mr. Gobble, just for you, I'm gonna sit here and just uh, not sit here and talk to you a while because I'm I know you're probably hungry and lonely from being kidnapped. Ah, 
At least we got more lives. Have I already been here? Uh, yes, I, I, I have been here. Oh, what, what am I doing? Oh, um, I am not doing well. I think what happened was it, that's where we actually started the level at because, because I came through the door, I had associated that door being you know straight on from the start of the start of the level they come out of there and so i went straight on another journey in the darkness Stretch and contract. It's the way I like it. Little thing of gum or something. Now we are very dark. Not actually a good uh good thing because oh yeah, here we go. I was about to like not be able to see where the light actually was. Man, oh my Here we gotta be very careful with these strange platforms. At least Croc gets to show off his nice agility. Now this is an interesting little place. No longer is the is the land covered in darkness, but now a brightness. Ah, you shoot me again. I'm gonna take that trident and stick it somewhere that will it will never be removed. That's right. In the trash can. Oh wait. Um, I seriously just pulled like a facial expression for like the past like five seconds. <laughs> like that's that was some that was one of the most wow. Yeah, let's walk on top this time because I'm not taking any chances with these fellas. Sound glitch. I just destroyed him. Crushed you like a little bug. Shows you who's boss, you know what I'm saying? Oh! Uh, oh, 
what was that? Was that? Oh my gosh. Did I get the key? No, I just gotta. At least time I get to crush this guy again. Cause he is sure is crushable. We shazammed our way into another world. Man, so dark. Oh, why I did? Why I even try to try this? Ah, oh, I thought I thought I'd be thought I'd be cool by you know z jumping out. Oh. Apologize if that made a weird noise because I don't I'm not sure how well this microphone can just take blowing. <laughs> At least we made it that time. Oh oh wow, are you serious? I guess I give him credit, like, like I, I, I jump for it. For some reason, this, this uh, place gave me like flashbacks to uh, one of the dun one of the dungeons in the Legend of Zelda: Win Wind Waker. Looks like we're gonna have a jewel level. I love you, little buddy. Go on and be free. Because I have rescued you. So I'm pretty sure this is where we came in the level, but we just, I just didn't get those boxes. Wait, was this where we... I'm not sure which, which way we came in. Only one way to find out is to go, to go through a door and see if it leads us to a location that we've never been before. I think this one did take us to a location that we've never been before. Hop. 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 Oh man, I, I jumped when I probably should have waited to see what was happening. Made new platforms for something. Another gobbo, perhaps? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's a love hate relationship with this game. Oh, okay, okay, that, that was my fault. I was just, I was just testing to see. I could jump two and one. The family is complete.
There's another girl. There's, there's, I guess this um, this desert world just just has a bunch of these. Ghost races. Hey, like that's a uh, not cool. <laughs> You're even gonna give us a game over. We're jumping. We're, we're seriously taking a leap into the darkness. You got this, like the beeping of him taking my coins, my, my gems. Then you've got the fact that we're seriously. Jumping in at things that we can't even see. And you're gonna game over us for that? Like for me, I would just say like it was automatically bring the gong. Oh my gosh. I'll be taking those. Okay, let's uh, be very careful here. Oh my gosh. Deep breath and go. Deep breath, long jump. Deep breath, long jump. Deep breath, long jump. At least that ghost is away, because the, the, the ghost ping there... Because the thing is, technically, you don't really need to, you know, follow him, I don't think. But him being there makes you want to just rush through the level, which uh, makes it likely for you to die violently. Now, is the next world a boss world? Yes. Cactus Jack's Ranch. Let's do it in this video, even though we're go going on a bit long. Next video will begin a new land. I read actually that the... Then, so we're going to fight a cactus. The main villain in this is like something... His, his name is Dante. It's interesting. But it's something, it has like a title as well. It's like Command, Commander Dante. D Dante. <laughs> or something. I, I, I can't remember. But Dante is not the complete name. It's something else. I'm ready to take a bite out of cactus. If you look up um, Children of Poseidon, their YouTube channel that does uh, a lot of different stunts, a lot of uh, jackass and whatnot. And uh, they've done a bunch of stuff with, cact with cacti. Like, um, hello there, cactus man. Eating cactus, but doing a body slam into cactus. Getting dizzy. Yep. Give him what he. Give him, oh my gosh. Uh, just gra grabbing cactus by the hand.
You were all spun out, buddy. And now you die. <laughs> so strange. What? Did I, did I, I think I might have to skip. Wow. I was like, kind of like, mo mo like, stretching, sort of. And, um, people know, like, the... So I'm using a PS3 controller, and like the PS3 controller has got like very sensitive um, triggers because like they're actual like analog triggers, and so like I guess like I it went down a little bit and uh, I lost I, I skipped the cutscene by accident. Other options. That PS PlayStation controller without an analog stick. I was, I was looking to see if there was like a cutscene viewer in the pot in the pause menu of all places. But next time we'll uh, start the next world, which I'm pretty sure is the final world. This the castle, the evil, the great castle of the evil. Something Dante. Well, save the cobbles. And uh, be a hero. Till then, folks. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'm the good solidus 9000. And until next time, look it out.